and suited. In this video, we will complete our practical number 4b that is executing the MDX queries to extract the data from the data warehouse. That means this query is required to be worked on your sales queue. So before I start with this particular practical, please see to it that you must be completing our practical number 3b. Because if you don't have a sales queue, then it is not possible for you to go for firing the MDX queries. So complete the practical 3b first and then come towards the practical number 4b. You can watch our video on the practical number 3. Thoda se add-on kiya hai maine. If you can remember in the practical number 3b, a few of the dimensions uh, I had tried to just modify it. Like for the store dimension, I had created one hierarchy. Like top will be country, then will be state, then will be city and then it will be a store ID. Similarly, for the other dimensions also, I had come across with the extra hierarchies for the product. I had just created one particular hierarchy which is the product name because in the retrieval I would like to display the product name also. For the time dimension already the hierarchy is created while the cube has been created in the practical. Further for the sales person also I had just created one hierarchy that I will be having a country, I will be having a state and then I will be having city. So after I complete these all hierarchies everybody knows that we require to execute this particular sales cube design. So I executed it and you will find the sales queue project has been mounted successfully. All additions are being implemented properly. Now I will go towards my analysis services. So how to connect to the analysis services? Go to file, connect to object explorer and here I had selected the analysis services and given a click on connect. So this is what my database engine is and this is my analysis services. Under the tab called as database, you will find a sales queue project which has the queue which is mounted by us of sales DW. So I give a right click and I selected browse. So over here we are developing our DAX or the MDX queries. A DAX queries or the MDX queries. Now I just come across with three questions and let's try to uh, create the query for all these three questions. You know that DAX DAX is data analysis expression and MDX stands for multi-dimensional data expression queries. So DAX is data analysis expression, MDX is multi-dimensional data expression queries. Three only questions I am trying to design. The first is display the total quantity from the cells DW. So I will come towards my cube explorer. You know that cells quantity is what my major is. So we will find a major that is cells quantity. So I will just take the cells quantity and drag it over here and I try to just display it. You will find the total cells quantity is 43 over here. Sir query kaha pe? Ye to UI hai, right? Ye to user interface hai. You can just give a click on this design mode. Towards the query mode, you will find the query has been generated. This is your DAX query. Where, sorry, MDX queries. And this query is helping you to display the total cells quantity. So you can again give a click over here. You will come towards your UI. Now come across to the second question. It said display total cells invoice number from cells DW. Total cells invoice number. So if I would like to go towards the total cells invoice number, then I will just remove the quantity column from here. And total cells invoice number is dragged over here. And I try to execute it. Fine. 139 total cells invoice numbers are there. But sir, I would like to display something better. I would like to display the invoice number as per the salesperson then how can I get it you can just get a salesperson and add this maybe salesperson ID over here along with this invoice now you execute it you will find the salesperson ID 1 had total invoices 59 salesperson ID 2 has total invoices of 44 salesperson ID 3 total invoices this 40 uh, 36 and so on so you are able to go for uh, adding up the columns and executing the query. Even if you are able to go for specifying your criteria as the expression source. Now let's look at the third question. That is writing the SQL query to find all the products sold by the salesperson whose ID is 3. So salesperson ke hisab se konsa product kitna sell hua hai. This is the question. So first thing I need to have a... a Salesperson wise, product wise. So I will be taking salesperson ID. Further, I will be taking the product name, 
then I will be taking the total sales quantity and I try to just execute it. You will find each of the salesperson and how many products uh, quantity has been sold of which product. The report is being generated in front of you. But now the question is, the record must be displayed only for the salesperson ID 3. So, we have to do the salesperson criteria. So, I will take the salesperson and salesperson. I take the salesperson ID and add it in that dimension. And here I can use the filter expression. In the filter expression, I can specify I would like to display only for the salesperson ID 3. And given a click on OK. And now I executed, you will find the record will be displayed only for the salesperson ID 3. And would like to see the query, you can give a click over here. This is what my MDX query which is being generated. So this is the way by which your MDX practical need to be executed by uh, you. So please subscribe the channel, like the video and stay tuned with us. Thanks.